This video illustrates how to install a rail mount and assumes you have already selected your best mounting option and location. The rail mount is a very versatile mount that is designed to be mounted to wood or metal railings. For wood railings, the hardware can be configured to attach the mast in the following mounting scenarios where there exists a 4x4, 2x4, or 2x6 post, or a 2x4 and 2x6 rail. For mounting to metal railings, the hardware can be configured to mount to square material that is vertical, horizontal, or angled. For any of these mounts, the hardware assembly and attachment is similar. Select a location that will provide the most support, such as a corner or vertical support post, checking the railing to make sure it will support the pressure and weight that will be placed on it by the rail mount assembly, ODU, and wind load. There are two L-bracket assemblies to support the top and bottom of the mast. Each assembly consists of an L-bracket, a mast to L-bracket adapter, and a rail post to L-bracket adapter that are held together using bolts and washers. Note, the mast to L-bracket adapter can also be used as a rail post to L-bracket adapter when working with metal railing. As you go through the following steps, make sure the bolts are tight enough to hold the components in place but not so tight that the brackets and adapters can't be manipulated throughout the installation. Start by snugly attaching the top L-bracket to the rail or post using the appropriate rail post to L-bracket adapter with the medium or long bolts and washers. Next, attach the bottom L-bracket to the rail or post using another appropriate rail post to L-bracket adapter with the medium or long bolts and washers. Now, attach the mast to the top and bottom L-brackets using the mast to L-bracket adapters and short bolts and washers. The bottom of the mast should rest on the deck or supporting surface. Prepare to plumb and fully tighten the hardware by sliding the mast as close as possible to the railing or post. If using the bubble level inside of the mast, it must be removed and reseated to ensure it will provide an accurate reading. While watching the bubble level, manipulate the mast and hardware until the mast is plumb. Fully tighten the hardware using a half inch wrench or half inch socket and ratchet. Finally, use a torpedo level to double check that the mast is plumb and reposition if necessary. 